hello everyone this is emanali here welcome back to our channel and today we are going to talk about how you can make an element or change background on scroll button so as you can see over here we are at wordpress.com and whatever we are going to use over here it's free plugin so mostly people use uh, elementor pro and uh, obviously we don't need that like if i were you i won't go for the pro why I will show you so as you can see we need elementor obviously because we are using elementor change background right so we have elementor we need one more plugin which is called uh, go to add new plugins add new and search for uh, custom css plugin i'm just gonna search for custom css plugin and once you search for it it will take you right over here and you can just insert insert from all of these but we are not going to choose from any of one of them why because we are going to scroll down and we are going to choose this one wp at custom css by daniel days and this so as you can see uh, this one we are going to use and click on install now and it won't show up on the top so just remember that and once you install it click on activate after activating it you just need to install one more plugin and you cannot find find over here you just need to go in your new tab and i'm just gonna search for uh elementor add-ons components once you search that you will end up over here and click on uh elementor over here so you can see we have we are at their website but we don't need to go over here we are going to go back and you will need to find this website elementor add-on components.com and you can see over here we will end up over here after that you can see this section we are going to add and it's a pro feature so that's why we need this from over here and uh, it's an elementor pro features but we don't need that right now why because we are going to download it and once you click on download it will take you right over here click on like obviously check i'm not a robot and click on download so it's downloading as you can see on the top right corner and you you just need to wait for a while and uh, and as you can see it has been downloaded on the top right corner so i'm going to add that in my plugins menu so you can see on over here like add new i'm just going to click on add new and upload plugin because we are going to upload it right so i i'm just going to drag that uh plugin over here easy click on install now once you click on install now it, it will might take some time but not that much and just wait for a while and it will take you right over here click on activate and after that everything will be going to very smooth so if you scroll down you can see on the bottom left corner we have both options like add custom css and eac so now everything is going to be very smooth and easy so i'm just going to create create new page i'm going to create new page for this tutorial right and so as you can see over here we can add our custom css which we have added for our plugin right you can see over here and we can add it from our elementor but we are going to add a css code which i will provide to my description and you can just add that over here after that just click on add it with elementor once you added this add this so click on add it with elementor and it will take you obviously to elementor right and there are just only one thing left where you are going to add html code so right now you can see we are at uh, elementor and i'm going to add html from over here html copy that and over here easy once it does that you can just add one more code which i will provide in the description and copy that i'm just gonna copy that from my second screen and i'm gonna paste that over here so once you do that click on publish and everything is good so obviously you can see uh there's nothing happened over here but we need to add our first section for that and because it will show up right for for somewhere right so i'm just going to click on uh plus icon and click on session and i'm gonna go with over here like height for fit to screen so this would be in our screen 
and after that what you need to do you need to go at your obviously if you want to add some titles over here and everything else you can do that but before like because i'm going to create a tutorial right so i'm not going to do that much i'm going to tell you how you can add all of those things so i'm just going to go over here in advance and go to css class and i'm going to click like right over here panel because in our you know in our html code it called as panel right and after that go over here which is a eac custom attributes and this is what we have added from our plugin from outsource plugin right and we are going to write over here this would be the value uh, which we are going to add we are going to write over here is data hyphen color and blue so you can see this this is very easy and after that click on update so what happens now the first session would be our blue so the this is what we have added right so obviously we are not going to edit every single thing i'm just going to click over over here i'm going to click on duplicate and it has been duplicated to different right so i'm just going to click on second session and what do you need to change only go to advanced eac custom attributes and change the color like green so what happens that this session would be our green the se second one which we uh, like already copied and uh, the first session would be our blue so if i go over here you can see this would be our blue so this is how you are going to add colors to the scroll buttons uh, and obviously once you preview this it will change to blue and after if you scroll that after transition it will change to green and obviously we have added our values and every single thing so that's it this is all you need to know how you can add uh you know elementor color change background on scroll button right so thank you for watching this video i hope you understand every single thing please comment down below if you have any queries so bye bye take care